Hi, I'm Balad Nandaibani, one of the co-founders of BNB Organics. BNB Organics was started by Balaji, who is a former student of Tamil Nadu Agricultural University, and myself. I'm also a former student of Tamil Nadu Agricultural University. While doing my bachelor's in Tamil Nadu Agricultural University, I was working with the different organic farmers in and around Tamil Nadu and Pondicherry. And after my bachelor's, I went to Sweden to do my master's and my PhD on climate change. I'm a normal scientist, basically. So I was uh, looking at the things like how the conventionally grown crops, like when we use pesticides and herbicides, and we use a lot of chemicals on food, and I was analyzing how it impacts the health of people. And while doing that, my brother, who is a doctor, he was very conscious about health. So he requested me to give organic food. So I started giving it to him, and then through him, I started giving it to his friends and to my friends. Since I'm a scientist and Balaji is a farm consultant, we didn't know how to sell the product. We didn't know any marketing techniques, but we were sure that we are going to give only the high quality products. Since I am a scientist, I was testing the product at big labs to make sure there is no pesticide or herbicide contaminations. So I was keeping the product for one year. There was no sales and my mother who was a teacher and my father who was a teacher, they don't want me to start this business because no one in my family has any business background. I remember that initially I bought like 30 kg Italy rice. It did not sell at all. And finally, I gave it to my mother and she bought it from me and with full of insects. So myself and Balaji, we decided to run this business for two years to learn business things. So uh, we started running this business and we were sure that we are giving quality products. And all of a sudden, like word of mouth started spreading that these youngsters are selling good quality organic products and our sales started increasing. When we started this business, I want to make sure that we are not going to sell normal products, not to sell just organic products. I want to make sure to sell products which is very difficult to find in the market. For example, we sell the highest number of rice varieties in India commercially. We started studying each and every rice varieties. You'd be astonished to see the health properties of rice. For example, if you take the black rice, Karupu County rice, if you take it as very good anthocyanin, which is very good for like diabetes and it enhances immunity, which can prevent cancer. Like if you take Maple Samba, if you take Cartianum, if you take Karupu County on a regular basis, you don't want to worry about disease at all. Like we have so many different types of rice. And we had so many different types of millets, millet flakes, and so many different types of traditional products, which is extremely good in health, but we are not using it. So it was very surprising to me, and I was studying so many rice varieties, so many sugars. Do you know that how many sugar varieties we have? Like BNB Organics itself selling 10 types of sugars. Coconut sugar, sugar made from palmyra, palm jaggery, palm jaggery syrup, palm jaggery sugar, sugar made from sorcan, and honey and herbal sugar and jaggery powders. We are selling numerous amount of sugars, but we use only white sugar, which is extremely bad for health. So when I started analyzing the traditional products, I was astonished. So I started making valuable products from it and I started selling this product. So there was less competition from it. So that's how we surveyed in the market. When I started this business, my aim is to have strong ethics. Now in our company, like more than 70% of our employees are women. So I want to give it back to the society. So I give more priority to women for the employment and most of our employees are working from home. They're married and they took a break for parental leave or they took a break for marriage. And so we encourage them to come back to our company and people out from Chennai and Chandigarh or Bangalore or Dhamapuri. So people who are working from different cities. We kill the forest and then we do agriculture, right? We always speak about agriculture, we, we forget forest. And the most important thing that we forget is sparrow. A sparrow is very important for our agriculture and also for our life. It stayed with us for more than 10,000 years. Now it's, it's getting extinct. We all say that um, the reason for sparrows extinct is radiation. Not radiation actually. And the main reason for the extinct is we are not giving space for sparrows. So BNB Organics, although we are a small company, we took a certain margin from our profit and we started giving us a free sparrow nest all over India. And right now, we give more than hundreds and hundreds of sparrow nests all over India to increase sparrow conservation. Uh, in addition to this, uh, we want to make sure that we support farmers. That's our basic aim. So whenever farmers face problem, we give them a premium price. And if there is any like a cyclone or any damages happens to the crop, we give them like we pay in advance. Forty-five percentage of farmers, those who supply our products are women. So in that place also, we make sure that we support women. To reach this place, it was not easy at all. Like initially when we started the business, we faced so many problems. For example, like when we started the organic business, like one of our customers, she bought product for 5,000 rupees and she stored it in house for months. And when she opened, it was full of insects. So she got really angry and we tried so many methods to remove like insects. 
but uh, we should try only the organic methods like keeping uh, the neem leaves and wasambu leaves things like that but nothing worked out uh, we used by vacuum packing and the best thing to remove insects is to accept insects yes we need to keep the uh, rice or anything once in a week outside under the sun to remove the insects that's the only organic way to remove insects when we started teaching this to customers some of the customers they said like well we cannot accept it and they asked us to find some better solution but unfortunately we don't have any organic solution we can use chemicals but it kills our ethics so we started teaching customers to keep under the sun or we requested customer to order less volume or for a week or for a month when we started using the packaging like we started selling all around india and also in abroad and when we started sending products we didn't know how thick the cover should be or how thick the cardboard box should be and like initially most of our packages were damaged we couldn't find any better solution we worked with the different universities and we visited different companies to see what thickness they're using and then we started finding better covers so we, what are the problems that we faced in 2016 when we think about it now it would be really funny when we started the business we thought that okay uh, starting the business is very cool and if we start the business today we, we can make the money in next uh, month we thought like that after starting the business we came to know that business is full of problems solving problem and taking clear decision is business we started enjoying it after starting the business bnb organics now like in the fifth year and now we are enjoying facing the problems and because the decision that we make creates positive impact in the society for example now we changed all of our uh, petrol diesel vehicles to ev vehicles including my personal car and now we are working to find covers which is degradable that is the only the end that we need to change to be completely organic and completely environmental friendly so we are working on that right now to change the covers also and then now if you take the traditional products it's very difficult to cook because for example if you take the white rice that we use in our everyday life will get cooked in 15 to 20 minutes or maximum of 30 minutes but if you take uh, maple sambar rice or kati and amar punga rice the colored rice which will take like several like 1 hour 1 and a half hours to get cooked so people are not consuming it this rice has the black color or red color coating which usually takes more time to get cooked uh, which is extremely healthy for you also but we are running out of time right so we are in a busy schedule so people couldn't like spend much time cooking it that's our future plan we are trying to like make the things quicker for customers now our main focus is to supply traditional products which should take less time for cooking that's our aim and that's what we are working now soon you will receive those products thank you